As your project moves along, you'll find it necessary to add new sheets or perhaps even new disciplines or what are called subsets to your sheet set. So let's see some examples of how to perform those types of functions. The first thing we want to do is import a layout that is in an existing drawing. It's going to be uh, sheet number A05 and it already exists. It's out on our network drive. So let's go get it and see how that sheet adds in. So what I will do, since I want it to be part of the architectural discipline or subset, I will right click there and I will say import layout as sheet. We'll now browse up into here into my R drive, pick the A05 sheet here, and we can see here that it finds the layout. It's called sections and details. And I'll go ahead and import that. And we'll see that it's brought here into the list. It goes ahead and inherits the properties, which we'll talk about more later. And now in order to open that, I would simply double click it and it would be brought up in my drawing editor. And I could start working with it. Let me just pan it over there so it's easier to see. Now, what if we wanted to go ahead and create a subset or discipline called electrical and we wanted to create a new sheet in there? Well, the new subset or discipline would actually be under the top level of the sheet set. So I will right click here. I will say new subset. And we will call that subset electrical. Now, without getting into a whole lot of details here, you can probably start to see that the reason that sheet sets function as they do is because they have properties that define things like paths and naming and template files. We'll look much more at this later, but you can start to get a glimpse as you work with it here very simply as to how it might be working behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and OK that. And we'll go ahead here and see that we have a new subset or electrical. Now to add a sheet here, I'll simply right click on that context or that subset and I'll say new sheet. Now notice that I'm creating a brand new sheet here. I am not importing a layout from a pre-existing file. So I'll have to go ahead and enter in some parameters for this one. So we'll call this E01. And these will be uh, electrical details. You can see here what's starting to happen is that as we're putting in these properties, the actual file naming criteria is being enforced for us and a template file will be used, copied into here and named appropriately. And that's all there is to it. We've now got a blank file in here or just the contents of our template. We can double click on that and we'll see that it's open. So now what I can start to do is place electrical symbology or schematics or, or whatever it is that I want to put inside of this sheet and I can start getting to work. So what we have here is a recipe for how to bring existing layouts from existing DWG files in as we did with our sections and details here, how to create new disciplines or subsets as we did here, and how to create brand new sheets from templates as we did here.